What's going on, everyone? This is Andy with the Full Tilt Debbie Podcast, bringing you your college football championship week Debbie recap. Uh, the playoff field is set. I'll give you my initial reaction on that. And then uh, this week, instead of going over player performances from the games last weekend, I'm going to talk uh, about my thoughts on some of the marquee transfer portal entries and Keishon Boutte's decision to stay another year in college. You can find me on Twitter at ASTARFF. Uh, the Debbie recap is going to continue to be released on Tuesdays throughout the bowl season and the off season, but will obviously be more news centric rather than player performance centric. Uh, but let's get right into it by talking about the college football playoff. USC fell to Utah for the second time this season, uh, this time in convincing fashion, getting hammered 47 to 24 in the Pac-12 championship game. Uh, I had made the case last week on the podcast that USC should still get in before an idle Ohio State team, regardless of the uh, outcome of the Pac-12 championship. Uh, but this loss was way too absolute for me to hold true to that sentiment. Um, TCU also lost in overtime uh, in the Big 12 championship game, which was their first loss of the season. Uh, but I believe in this case, the committee got it right uh, by leaving them as the number three ranked team. They had already beat Kansas State earlier this season, uh, and they nearly did it again. Uh, they deserve to show what they got in the playoff more so than a two-loss Bama team, in my opinion. And then at the top, Georgia and Michigan both held serve in their respective championship games. Um, so I do believe the committee got the teams and the seeds uh, right. As it stands right now, I think we're looking at Georgia taking care of business against Ohio State. As for Michigan and TCU, this one's going to be close. Uh, both teams are slow starters in the first half. So I think it's just going to come down to who can control the ball early. And because both of them have great run games to protect the lead. So whoever comes out scoring first and foremost, I think, takes that game home. Um, moving on to the transfer portal. Man, it just seems to get crazier every year since the NCAA allowed for immediate eligibility in transfers. Yesterday was the Wild West with names entering the portal. Uh, we've already seen some names find a home, like former Boston College quarterback Phil Dracovic committing to Pitt uh, to take over for Keaton Slovis, who is again testing the transfer portal waters. Uh, but along with Slovis, we saw starting quarterbacks Graham Mertz, Mike Wright, Spencer Sanders, Austin Reed, DJ Uyunglele, Drew Pine, among several others, uh, enter their names into the portal. And there are several high-profile vacancies that will be looking at that list for their next starter, including Kentucky and possibly Florida, who now have openings with the departures of Will Levis and Anthony Richardson. And Notre Dame, who loses the aforementioned Drew Pine, is no stranger to using the portal to find a quarterback. So I think they are in play as well. Um, the list of wide receivers and running backs that enter the portal is way too long for me to get into in a single recap episode. So I'm going to be saving my thoughts on those players for the podcast tomorrow. Uh, but lastly, I want to talk about uh, some wide receiver news, some surprising and somewhat un uh, and some somewhat surprising news from two of the top wide receiver prospects. Uh, first, Jackson Smith and Jigba announced that he's not going to be participating in Ohio State's playoff game against Georgia and is just going to focus on training and getting healthy for the NFL draft. Uh, Buckeye fans would probably want a JSN back for that game to have the offense at full strength. Uh, but I believe he made the right call here for from a career perspective. Uh, unfortunately, this was just a lost season for JSN. Uh, he was not healthy for a full game all year. But we are seeing what his former teammates Olave and Garrett Wilson are doing in the NFL. And we can't forget he was as good or better than them a season ago. Um, and then the other news I wanted to get into was uh, Keishon Boutte, who announced on Monday that he's going to remain in college to play his senior year. Uh, he did commend the new coaches in his announcement and seems like he's all in for another go with the Tigers. I'm indifferent on this decision. Uh, I believe that Keishon was never really 100% from the injury a season ago. And he did play in every game and the production just wasn't there, which definitely hurt his draft stock. I think he could have just sat this season out and focused on the draft and just been a first-round pick in April based solely on his freshman and sophomore year. Um, 
but playing at that lower level, he likely put himself as a day two pick. And I think that and that went into his decision to come back. If he is able to get back to his sophomore season form as a senior, there's no doubt in my mind that he can get back into that first round conversation. Uh, that's all I really have for the recap this week. A little longer than normal. Uh, John and I are going to be talking some of this and more on the show on Wednesday at 9 p.m. Like I said, Transfer Portal was popping off on Monday, so I'm anticipating a lot of discussion around some names and landing spot predictions. So we hope to s that you guys tune in. Other than that, have a good week, and we will see you tomorrow night.